हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई विल टेक यू थ्रू द फंडामेंटल एनालिसिस व्हेन व्हेन एवर यू इन्वेस्ट इनटू इक्विटी ऑफ ए कंपनी यू मस्ट एनालाइज नॉट ओनली दैट कंपनी ऑन फंडामेंटल बेसिस बट आल्सो द इकोनॉमी ऑन द होल द इंडस्ट्री एंड देन द कंपनी स्पेसिफिक नाउ लेट मी टेक यू थ्रू द इकोनॉमी एनालिसिस फर्स्ट the domestic economy and the global economy everything impacts in global economy when we talk the most important point is gdp the gross domestic product how stable the gdp or how fast gdp is growing or declining what has been the track record of last 3 to 5 years and what is the expected gdp growth in future that all has impact on the overall business and industry scenario the higher the gdp the better it is because the manufacturing product the mining the electricity the services are increasing and accordingly the purchasing power capacity of the people of that country are also increase the second most important point is the monetary and fiscal policies what is the inflation rate are we in the inflation era or we are in deflation era do we need to flip the growth ignoring the inflation or we should contain the growth bring the interest rate high and contain the inflation because high inflation affects the real gdp for example if the gdp is growth is 9% and if the inflation is 5% then in the real term gdp is only 4% similarly we have to also analyze the global economy what is happening to the world because today we are in integrated economy so suppose europe going down us also has a problem so definitely in india we will also have problem like oil prices crashing crude from maybe from 110 us dollar to coming down to sub 30 us dollar it is affecting the growth of the entire globe having said this and analyze this let's now come to the industry specific what is this industry in which this company is whether it is an industrial company that is b2b or a consumer product company b2c or a service provider like banking financial insurance accordingly we have to decide because there are benchmark and barometer fixed for every kind of industry like today in india we see the power infra are in terrible state the steel has got turmoil in the world the steel commodity prices have crashed because of the oil prices so this has great impact on the company having assessed the industrial analysis and situation let us now come to the company specific while the financials of the company are no doubt are very important but most important is the character of the management the quality of the management the track record of the management like the tatas and billas of india they have established their credibility when we talk about management let's not forget to check whether there is a clear cut defined succession plan because if there is no succession plan if something happens to the patria to the main person of that company the company might face huge problems unless it has a total professional management like say infosys in india having assessed the credibility and the quality of the management then let's come to the track record of the company itself what has been the growth over the 3 or 5 or 10 years in the company what are the growth pro- prospects in future 
how are the financials how the balance sheet is built up what is the asset quality in this company like for example if you see indian psu banks why they are tanking today because of the bad asset quality so we have to assess that and that is very important then you come to the product the product mix the market share of the company like say if you talk about mr kumar mangalam bilda he always says in whatever industry i am i want to be in top 3 in position in that industry so the better the higher the position in that industry the better premium this company commands then you have to see the competition how competitive how many competitors then are there any substitute like something new new technology can affect this today this online shoppings they are literally affecting the store goods so anybody who is in the store market into the malls the shops they are facing big challenges to assess the balance sheet of the company you have to have various ratios to compare with the peers and for that i think we will take that in our next video thank you